Hello and welcome to episode 39 of my Salem tutorial series. This episode <coughs> excuse me, is going to be on learning the turkey farming skill and then we will build a turkey coop. Um, as you know we've been farming cotton and our fields are ever expanding and ever increasing. So what's very important for us with that in mind, our cotton farming, is we want to keep the maintenance and the fertilizers as simple and easy as possible. Because the more fields we get, the less fuss and trouble we want to keep them at optimum condition. Now with your fields, the most important, in my opinion, is keeping the upkeep to 50%. Whatever one of my fields you go to, you will see its upkeep is always 50%. That automatically saves me seeds and fertilizers, um, which is vital for when you get to lots and lots of fields. Now there is one other fertil, so wood choppings is what I use to get it to 50%. And then after you harvest the field and re-sow it, you only need to use one wood chopping as the last, very last fertilizer to put it back to 50%. Now be careful if you use lots of fertilizers because that increases the cost for later fertilizers, meaning they'll be less effective. So if you use lots of different fertilizers and you use the wood choppings last, you might have to use more than one, but they'll only be 5%. Uh, it will only go back up to 55% after you harvest, not 100%. Now the second fertilizer is uh, turkey droppings, hence why we're going to learn this skill and start farming turkeys. When I sow cotton, I add one turkey fertilizer to it and then one wood chopping. Then the field is, in my opinion, good to go. So it'll be on 50% upkeep and the speed and plenty will get a boost and so will the influence. As you'll see though when we get to that. For now let's learn turkey farming. Now to learn tur tur the turkey farming skill we are going to need to raise our flora and fauna to 4250 as you can see there and we're currently on 3200 so we have to raise it a lot for this though I recommend using tumbleweeds and sunflowers which hopefully will be easy for you to find you always see tumbleweeds rolling across the map on your mini map especially and sunflowers there are always some dotted around so as you can see I've been gathering them up when you chop down trees and rarely get a bird's nest drop, when you open the bird's nest, there is a rare chance you'll get a decomposed bird skeleton. That also is good for uh, boosting up our flora and fauna, as you can see, but not as good as the tumbleweeds. They're the best. They'll give us 1,750. And hopefully you're in an area where there's loads of them. So let's start by raising our flora and fauna because we want these turkey coops because there's many good uses for them okay so I've got food prepared as you can see let's start studying and raise our flora and fauna okay so we'll do one of these hmm. and we'll do another one hmm. okay raise it the first time We'll study another one. Hmm. We'll eat. Now, on a side note, if you've got knocked out a few times like I had before and you don't have much inspiration, because you're cotton farming, you should have at least plenty of silver. Now, what you can do is go to the town, Providence, go to a player store and buy the potions for inspiration. Buy the 150,000 inspiration potions per use potion. It should cost you 250 silver, no more than that. And that's how you can boost your inspiration back up. We will eventually get to making them potions, but I don't want to rush through Salem. What I'm doing is I'm showing you exactly how I progress and fully enjoy the game. And if you follow my lead, you will as well. So we'll get to 
the potions but that's only if you've been knocked out just go and buy one you've got loads of silver by now so buy there's free uses as well so it gives you 450 inspiration 450,000 so that's how you can get back up right anyway so we're still increasing our skill so let's do another one of them hmm. and raise again okay let's do I need to eat yeah okay let's do another one hmm. and another one just waiting for my food now to keep up hmm Okay, now we only need 100, so I won't waste another one of them because they're very good. Let's see, what does this give us? Flora and fauna, perfect. There we go, so I'll study that. Mm. There you go. Okay, we are getting there. So let's do another two tumbleweeds after eating. You'll see as we progress, especially when we get into mining and metalworking, we are going to need loads of proficiencies, points, loads. At the moment, the game is still not that harsh, not even at this, but as when we get into forestry as well, then it starts to get high. Anyway, let's carry on, study, mm. and another one. Mm. Let's see, we need 300. So, what did this give us? Just slightly short. So, let's just do a sunflower. Because the sunflower is 700. Oh, need to eat. Or wait for my... F no, need to eat. Hmm. Okay, let's raise again. Right, we need just twice more. So, let's study again. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, there's some areas where you'll see in the mini map loads and loads of tumbleweeds. It basically, it just means walk a, a little way in each direction until you find a load. Because they definitely, as you can see, are so easy hmm. to get this skill up. Okay, so another sunflower. Hmm. Raise. <clears throat> and eat. Okay, we need one more. And I've not even needed to use these decomposed birds. Okay, let's study. Hmm. Let's see. Let's study another one. Hmm. Study one of these. Hmm. And raise again. There we are. Finally, we now have enough to learn the turkey farming skill. Notice it's turned white. So let's now learn that. <clears throat> Okay, to learn turkey farming, we will need 4,250 flora and fauna, 1,900 hunting and hide working, 1,350 stocks and cultivars, and 1,600 sugar and spice. So let's now learn this turkey farming skill. We're going to use a beetle, a cricket team, two tumbleweeds, and a sunflower. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. As you can see, I've got here. So let's start studying. Yeah, I know the cricket team was overkill on the hunting and hide working, but I've got plenty of inspiration and I just needed to do it fast and simple because I'm recording. Okay, so just waiting for the food to go up. Hmm. And we want this to start flashing. Come on. Hmm. Let's see again. And it should just be a sunflower now. Hmm. There we go. Let's learn turkey farming. 
Okay, that's now unlocked the turkey coop, um, which really is something we badly need because not only will, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry, not only will the turkey coop help our farming, our fields with the fertilizer, but we will have unlimited source of meat for cooking and for using to fill our compost bins. So it really is all good. Now, to build a turkey coop, you will need 10 wooden plugs, eight nails, five hay, and 15 fresh boards, which you can see I've got here. Okay, just the boards missing, but if we look in here that's where I've got them so let's grab just a few because I don't want to get overweight and I'm going to put the turkey coops all the way along here along the outer edge so really what I want to do is just shift let's get rid of that because we don't need that anymore shift some of my containers out the way so then I can build the turkey coop we put that there for now Okay, and I'll start the turkey coops here. Okay, so if we now go to build, and if we go to buildings and structures, there you will see the turkey coop. So left click, and remember you can use the left shift key and the scroll wheel to line it up. And I believe that's perfectly placed, so let's try and build. No, okay, let's move over a bit and try again. Let's see if it will let us do it here. Hmm, maybe I was too close. Let's try again. No, it must be the trees blocking me, which is a nuisance. That tree is going to have to get cut down. So let's build one just there. There we go. Right, okay, hold the left shift and just mouse wheel over and it will fill up all the components. I should just be needing 10 more boards. Let's build that. Don't worry, we'll get to metalworking soon enough and be making our own nails. For now, it's fine just to buy them. Okay, let's get some boards. Let's see if I can carry them all. Yep, can, cool. Okay, let's add them. You will build about seven turkey coops eventually because you will see that they are so fantastic with all the work that you can get from them. There is a turkey coop. If you right click on it, it opens it up. Now the first thing you have to do before you put any of your turkeys inside is fill it with food. If you do not fill up the food bar first and you put your turkeys in, your turkeys are going to starve. So make sure you fill it with food first. The best two things to fill a turkey coop are seeds and common earthworms. So I will use these two. And that is just in my opinion. You will see why though. First of all, an earthworm. If I zoom in so we can see. Okay, let's left click on an earthworm, right click on the turkey coop. Notice that gives us plus 10 to the food. So if we look, you can see that it takes a lot of food to fill it up. But I can tell you now, I have got large urns loads full of the common earthworms where I've been doing all the digging but next let's look at what a hundred seeds give us now you may be thinking wow I'm going to use seeds well trust me when you start to get loads of fields and you keep the upkeep to 50% on the fields you're going to get a ton of seeds and this is the best use for your seeds because if we le left click the seeds right click the coop again you see we get 10 so if we left click hold the left shift key and right click it will now add our seeds and the common earthworms and we're getting 10 for each one 
which is fantastic. And there we go, you see now, if we have a look, the food is full, and I've still got loads of earthworms. Right, now let's talk about how you fill your turkey coop. You only need one male turkey gobbler, and you place him in the very bottom right box. Okay, for your turkey hens, you will place them all across the top line. The boxes underneath that, the line underneath, you leave empty because your turkey hens will mate with your gobbler and they will lay eggs and the eggs will appear under the box underneath the turkey. So if you put your turkeys all the way along here, their eggs will appear along here. Now the turkey fertilizers will appear along here. Once this line fills up, the fertilizers will start to populate the next line up. So what you will do is you will put turkey hens in this row and in this row. That allows them two rows to fill up with eggs and it allows two rows for your fertilizers. Every day though, like your compost bins and your shellfish traps and other things that we're building, you will need to check the each day well this will probably last two or three days um, if I just leave one gobbler and one hen that will last probably a month but as you start to fill up your turkey coop not only will the hens be eating the food and your one gobbler you only need one gobbler in the whole coop but also the chicks as they're born they'll be eating the food so I would say to you probably it's a good idea just to fill up one row with turkey hens then your food will last longer in case you have a break now with my other character and I had seven turkey coops and they were all full with turkeys the food run out because I hadn't been on that character for a while all the turkeys died so a little tip to you is just keep a few turkeys in for now till you get in lots of stuff uh, seeds and common earthworms to fill the turkey coops up once you've got loads of common earthworms, say about 50 spare, then you can start to populate the two rows here with your hens. And then you will start to get the fertilizer. Remember, the turkey droppings, we will use one per field. And also then at, at the last fertilizer will be a wood chopping. So one turkey dropping and one wood chopping per field. We'll, you will see once we get some fertilizer, so turkey fertilizer, so I can show you turkey droppings, then we will do a field and I'll show you that. But there we are. I hope now that has illuminated you with uh, the turkey farming skill. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. I hope you've enjoyed this episode on turkey farming. Goodbye.